For many of us, the dentist's office can be a scary place, but someday soon that experience will be a little less painful. That's because a nasal spray may take the place of those painful injections. The nasal spray was studied here in Buffalo, and it works. News 4's Dr. Peter Ostro has the story. Carol Sabuda participated in a clinical trial of a nasal spray for dental anesthesia. She'd had dental work with standard injections before. It does hurt when they give you the needle and then you're swollen or you feel like you're, you can't eat or anything until the numbness goes away. What if you could do without the needle? Dr. Sebastian Ciancio of UB's Dental School has been studying a nasal spray as an alternative for five years. The spray enters the nose and is carried into the nasal sinuses, which are very close to branches of the nerve that carries pain fibers from the teeth. The anesthetic is distributed all along the nerve branches. Not only is your, are your teeth numb, but actually the entire roof of your mouth becomes numb so that you can have some surgery done, you could have uh, dental fillings placed, and not ever have to have a needle. And I think that's the beauty of the product. But in order to have it approved, they have to prove it works. The studies are complete, and it does. Every 9 out of 10 patients, you can actually place fillings with this material, no problem, which is as good as dental injection. The nasal spray also has fewer side effects than injections. The nice part about it is your mouth is numb, but you don't, your cheek and lips are fine. There's no, uh, no numbness. And they did do the procedure, and you don't have anything afterwards. It, it was normal. The night we went out to dinner, and I didn't even know I had any dental work done. Now, it'll still take about a year for FDA approval and widespread availability. This, this, this all began when a dentist broke his nose. The surgeon who fixed it used a nasal spray for anesthesia, and the dentist noticed that it also numbed his teeth. So he decided to look into it as a dental anesthetic. You might say that was a lucky break for him and for us. For News 4, I'm Dr. Peter Ostro of the UB Medical School.